Welcome back, and a funny thing just happened, uh, while in between videos, um, Unreal 4.26 got released, and I already uh, checked, and it's everything is working on 4.26, so when, when I release this, if it gets approved, it should be in 4.25 and 4.26. So let's create a patch, shall we? So I'm into instrumental music, so I, I'm using the Sketching Orchestra, uh, for this example. So let's open up this instrument and in Sketching Orchestra if you if you look for it um, online uh, I'm sure you'll find it pretty easy it's a free instrument. Let's do a cello section. Okay so as you can see cello doesn't doesn't use the full keyboard so so what I'll do is use F sharp middle of the, the the 12 notes as a reference and I'll use uh, F sharp then replicate well then use the um, functionality of the plugin of the active component to fill in the other notes which with pitch change so I'll going to export all these F sharps right so an F sharp right there and now I'm just going to export I'm going to see if what the size a good size for this would be okay that's that's a good size I'm gonna go with that and of course this depends on your DAW uh, how you going to record this shallow REC for record it's a stereo channel and my input so I'm using studio one I haven't mentioned it I'm using studio one and yeah so if I just record this really quickly I forgot to use the velocity so if I go back to my velocity here you can see that it's at 80 percent I'm just gonna leave it at that we're not gonna use different velocities on this one um, I've showed you how, how it's set up for the piano and you can take your time and do stuff like that on your on your own now that I have a F sharp I'm gonna use this F sharp to cover all the way down to C1 and all the way up to B1 okay so pretty straightforward then inside the plugin so if I just select this guy I'll make sure the other one is muted I'll export this in a 16-bit format I know you can't hear the sound that is coming out of my speakers at the moment because I didn't set these up properly so that you could hear it but you get the picture so now I'm gonna go F2 and this is gonna uh, cover uh, octave 2 of the keyboard and I'm going to record that. So I'll do F2, F3 and the other uh, 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 octave above. I think it's going on all the way up to F4 and I'll be right back. Okay so I have my four samples all ready to go and we should now be able to listen to them once I import them into Unreal. So okay let me just bring the browser back here and we're about to create a new patch so I'm going to go into patches I'm gonna right click new folder cello or celli if you like open that up bring back my files drop them in there and you know what uh, when I when I release it I will add this cello patch as well why not so coming in here we're gonna add, add a new one open this up so for patch name it's gonna be cello cello uh, whoop, cups lock right so our first sample let's shift click this so it opens everything I'm gonna go in there our first sample is F1 so F1 in there uh, which is F sharp 1 and uh, real brings um, F sharp as F underscore so keep that in mind and so F sharp 1 and it's gonna go from C1 to B1 okay so for velocity minimum velocity maximum velocity 127 otherwise it's not gonna play it's just uh, it's looking at zero velocity if the, uh, if you do if you leave it like that okay so you've done the first sample uh, now it's just a matter of saying duplicate and 
change the octave and of course the sample. So now this is F sharp 2, I'm going to go F sharp 2, C2 to B2, again duplicate, grab F sharp 3, open that up, it's 3 now, so 3, 3, so it's pretty easy when you do it like this, of course not every instrument is going to work out um, with just one key, uh, one sample per one sample per uh, octave, but uh, I think the cello might work pretty well for it. And this is four, four, four. Okay, so we're done. Patch is created. So very easy, very easy to do. And just one thing now inside the map, let me just close this. Inside the map, I'm just gonna come here to one of these patches and I'll change this which is the, um, it's the initial patch and I'll change this, I'll select it, go into details and I can change it here to be our cello and that's all it takes so if I now play of course I first will need to load it happy okay you can you can notice a little difference right you can notice the difference in texture there See this one is more muffled and then we change when we change to the other octave is not as muffled. I had the same problem with the piano and with the piano what I did was I add let me go back here to C. I had C I exported C and used C to cover C sharp, D, D sharp and uh yeah and I used it to cover B, A sharp and A. And that gave me good results. Then I exported F and F was covering E and uh, F sharp, G and G sharp, I believe. So if you use two notes per octave, you're going to have better results. I'm not happy with this result because the texture changes too much. This is muffled. This is bright. Okay, so you, you might want to do that. So I'm not going <laughs> to I'm not going to give you this patch because I don't like it. So yeah, this, that's how you set up a patch. Uh, the more time you spend on it and the more samples you put on it, uh, the better it's going to be, obviously. Okay, so I uh, just wanted to show you, of course, if you can, we can del delete one of the patches just by coming here. And that's our cello patch that we just created. So I'm gonna delete it by coming here, delete. Bye bye cello, I don't like you. And uh, bye bye here. I'll make a better one at another time, I guess. Uh, yeah, memory references, okay. So, okay, now I can say I see you in the next video.